Hi, this is Roger Snell, and welcome to my video art journal. This is the first time I have shown video of working with gosh. Show oh my gosh, it's gosh. Uh, you can see that it looks just like watercolor, but you can uh, re-wet it and rework it like watercolor. The difference is it's a lot more forgiving. You can cover up mistakes. You can do additional layers. That little watercolor kit I bought is a blank. Uh, tin with those half pink pans. They were empty. I got it uh, from Amazon for I think even less than $20. Those coat hooks I bought at Lowe's to make the attachment to the tripod and I had some scrap lumber that I made for the shelf and then uh, put those coat hooks to attach to the tripod. You'll see here in a second. Everything fits in that red bag including my chair, my tripod, paints, the watercolor pan, sketchbooks, the tray, uh, everything in one shoulder uh, bag, uh, making it very light and easy to do outdoor painting. That scrap wood and the coat hangers, I have a total of seven dollars invested uh, in that part of the kit. The tripod I got from Jerry's Artorama just a couple of weeks ago for $22. Normally $70. They had a big discount at $22. And it has a, a crank up that allows you to adjust to the size of your canvas or your panel, or in my case, my sketchbook. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's adjustable for any size of sketchbook. And... Uh, I'll show you here in a second what motivated me to uh, resume my experiments and test with wash. Obviously with water it's easy to clean up. It's non-toxic. And uh, what I like best of all is when the paints dry out you just spray uh, them with the uh, bottle and it re-wets them. They're reworkable. And with it being opaque in watercolor, you have to save the white spots to be able to have white. But with gouache, you can just go over it with white. So here's the first thing I did from the backyard. I love this paper river birch that we have. And yes, my studio is very comfortable with that fan on these hot summer days. Can't beat this studio, can you? Pretty nice. So my inspiration for making the little kit and returning to working with Bosch is Marilyn Sadler, one of the incredibly talented artists that are part of the Plain Air Painters of the Bluegrass, of which I'm a member. And we were just at a recent paint out in Paris, Kentucky on a horse farm. Marilyn is the one at the far right. I was just to the next of her. We kept our social distance for the pandemic. And we had about a dozen people that showed up. It was great. But here's Marilyn Sadler's web page. And just look at the talent. Look at the quality of her art. She works uh, in oil primarily, but she uses gouache now for her outdoor sketches. And when I saw the color and how quickly she was able to work while I was wrestling with oil and trying to do it all at once where you have a wet layer over a wet layer, pretty challenging. She had a complete and finished work in no time. So MarilynSadler.com is where you can find her. She lives in Versailles, Kentucky. You're seeing another gouache painting I'm doing from a video that we shot on the way into my hometown of Arcanum, Ohio a year ago when there was a storm brewing and I was shooting video and did a free stream to get that. I would hope to do a big painting someday of that. This is the sketch that I did for something that I call Epic France. I'm going to do one of the largest oil paintings I've ever done of this scene. And I worked out my composition and values and all of that in gouache on this 12 by 9 sheet of watercolor. It's a sketchbook uh, in a larger format. And... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just do these quick and loose and easy things to kind of break up the hours and hours and hours that I plan to spend on this Epic France painting. Off to the right you see my sketchbook where I, in pencil, laid out this composition and I worked from that to 
get the color and values and gouache uh, in this sketch. So here we go, returning to the uh, scene today. Uh, really hot, humid day. I got an early start to beat the heat. But St. Francis of Assisi is the patron saint of animals and it was left behind by the previous owner. And we kind of like it. Obviously, we virtually have an animal shelter here because of Hannah with uh, two, do two dogs and three cats. So she's kind of like the St. Hannah of uh, this property. But the goal on this was not to get something finished. It was just uh, uh, a quick sketch. In fact, I did it in 30 minutes, and it was just to really go as quickly as I could. The gouache just worked so well. I captured what I wanted. I didn't want to labor over it. It's not a finished painting. It's just a sketch. It's practice. So thanks for watching. You see everything in that one bag as I go with my painting companion, Bo. Please click subscribe and go to rogersnell.com to see all my other works. Thank you.